Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ascendant with Beard and Narwhal. And uh, we're gonna get started tonight. Hopefully, tonight goes a little better than it did yesterday. I'm hopeful, to be quite honest. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna play Chulain. He's got more damage slots on his spells than Gilgamesh does. I'm not excited to have Chulain be God again, but I mean, he did it for us last time when we couldn't buy anything from shops, I think. So, it looks like if we do end up beating the game with this guy, we'll have to beat the game with uh, someone else to make the, uh, the our last challenge easier. Should be pretty fun, though. I do enjoy normal runs. Oh, max health up. That's actually exactly what I'm wanting on Chulane, because the... Uh, one of the main problems in our last run was a lack of damage, however... Theseus combined with Chulane means there's a whole lot of room for him to lose health, and that means he gets a lot of damage. So I'm excited for what that could turn into. That's a lot of influence. Plus 10 max mana is nice. I still don't have a key, but if I do get a key, I will go to the um, event room, as it's called. go. Here's a chest. Alright. It's not a weapon or a spell, so we can take it. And, uh, no key, so we just move on. Hello, the mall. Our damage actually isn't that bad. Aha! Wow. <laughs> what? I just killed all of them in one parry. Is Ben actually getting good at this game? out pretty nicely all right so spells may call forth a powerful wave I think is actually the best of these it's not a super good one but it is uh, it's something it's an augment to our spells which we need a lot just because we won't be able to switch our spell from what it is right now and for those of you just joining us um, I have beaten the game a lot and the reason why I'm limiting myself to not switching out my weapons or spells is because I'm attempting to get the achievement where I do not switch out my weapon or my spell the entire playthrough, so uh, stay tuned for that. It's uh, proving to be pretty difficult, so I've lost quite a couple runs already attempting it, but gotta have faith. Whoop. Speaking of uh, new viewers, I'm now at 149 last time I checked my uh, subscriber base, so yeah, going uh, pretty uh, rapidly towards 50, 150 rather. I'm uh, I'm super excited because that means, uh, I, I don't know, the closer I get to 200, the more excited I get. It's still a long ways off, but uh, I don't know, I'm just really happy about it. Ask Amber, it's like all I talk about. Every time I get a subscriber, Amber knows I'm going to tell her about it. Why am I going up there? I'm not going to do the challenge. Alright. Thank you for dying. Can I hit it? Okay, there's a key. Let's not use it on the chest if there is a lock on it. There isn't, so we can open it fine. Nice. That's exactly what I was hoping for, actually. 
is uh, what I always say when the chest gives me something. But uh, seriously, I, I wanted influence so that I could go to the shop and maybe buy a, a spirit that makes this run a lot easier on us. That was pretty good. <laughs> There's another key that's wonderful. Oop. decent so far. Have we gotten hurt yet? I don't think we have. <laughs> Complete a run without getting hurt. Screw that. <laughs> Alright, the Spirit of Resolve. Increased in vulnerability time after being hit is uh, it's pretty nice. I'm actually going to pick up these keys. Um, the reason that spirit's actually pretty nice is because Chulain actually has less of an invulnerability time than any other character in the game. So, by picking that up, I think it, like, evens out his time. If not, if not, it'll make it... Ah! I cannot speak, I'm sorry. I, uh, just got done recording for just the tip, and it's, uh, my... My words are not working. However, <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh... That probably at least evens out, if not makes it better than a normal character's invulnerability time. It seemed kind of normal there, so... There we go. Well, we want that, uh, blessing. Well, I mean... Yeah, we kind of want that blessing. Uh, the blessing of Komoho is one that I always really liked when I first started the game, and now it's kind of one that I tend to avoid if I can. It's kind of sad, but I, I guess, kind of like in Binding of Isaac, you, like, grow as you discover what more items do, and kind of, uh, fix yourself in the game's metagame. Oh. There we are. Oh, another health upgrade. We don't have enough influence to go to the shop yet. Boop. Thank you for dying. Give me influence. Yes. I'm in control now. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, 12 more influence and we can afford to go to the shop. That sounds pretty nice to me. Please kill the fly. Or kill her. Oh, that's why I said kill the fly. I knew it. The breath of Agni is not super good. chest a key and then there's another chest down here I thought it was being sneaky all right we have seven keys now so I'm kind of regretting not um, I'm kind of regretting buying the keys on the last floor because we don't need keys we very much need influence though so um, it's kind of a I mean you never know what you're gonna end up needing by endgame, so maybe I'll be really thankful that I have all these keys. There we go. Oh, we had enough influence a second ago, too. I don't, don't know where all that came from. Alright, so we're at full health now. And here's a chest. There's a weapon we cannot pick up, unfortunately. I'm not even going to look at it, because looking and knowing is a lot worse than, like, assuming what it is. It was Gilgamesh's weapon, we know that. Oh! How did that bomb get activated? Alright. Is there anything up here? Nope. Okay. 
right, let's go down and visit the shop before we continue. Especially because the, the spirit that's in the shop could affect our drops or something, and we want that. Like, what if we get the spirit of the blacksmith and it converts our uh, red heart drops into uh, other stuff? Spirit of the Maw. That makes us summon slime balls when we hit stuff. It's not the best spirit in the world, to be quite honest, but it's good. Like, it's not... It deals damage, is the is the point. <laughs> so, we're gonna take it. And our slime balls are white, as opposed to the, uh, the maws, which are green. So... Okay, man. Thank you. Oh my god, more max health. Oh, late Grunty. Don't like late Grunty, even though he's not that hard. Oop. Here we go. Late Grunty. There we go. Really? I guess we'll uh, put that on our body slot so we can find the shops easier. It's not super great, but it's something. <laughs> so. Actually, you should have gotten something to drink. I'm kind of, uh, I've been wearing out my voice lately. I'll do that in between recording this in Abyss Odyssey tonight. So, out of my viewers, how many of you guys that watch Ascendant also watch Abyss Odyssey? I'm just kind of curious as to where the crossover is. Like, am I serving two separate fandoms? Or am I, uh... Or am I catering to the same people? Because I feel like it's more efficient to just... Stay with one group of people and make videos that they like and stuff. I don't know. Or maybe it's smarter to target a wider audience just to get clicks. I don't know. I, I don't really want to start thinking like that. I'd like to continue playing games that I like, you know. Oh, 10 influence. Make the shop look tastier and tastier. No. Oh. The game's being like, you should have played Gilgamesh. Well, I don't want to play Gilgamesh, right? Wanted to play Chu Lane tonight. I feel like Gilgamesh and Chu Lane are the two best, um, like, candidates for this um, run through. The non weapon pickup run through. Maybe Got would be okay too, but I don't know. I somehow doubt that. Yeah. Was that a secret? No, he just got stuck in the cracks. Thought I wasn't paying attention there, didn't ya? Oh. <laughs> it looks like that pot was gonna hit him. Two max hearts? Okay. So, let's go to the uh, bottom right challenge room. Or, um, event room. <laughs> I always have to correct myself. You know what? I'm just gonna call them what I normally do, which is blessing rooms. I mean, all game has, like, an unofficial terminology, too, and... It's not a huge deal if I miss, like, misname them. No one's been get getting that mad at me for it. Whoop. Whoop. Keys. Hoping for influence, though. Ah. Ah. There we go. Oh, also, any of you guys that watch my Dark Souls series, yesterday you would have watched my Ascendant video, and I had mentioned that I just recorded Dark Souls 2 and the final boss fight. Well, it's not the final boss fight, it's the side boss that I missed. Well, I, uh, after recording last night, um, it's never good when you 
start out like a phrase like that when you're a YouTuber. Um, I discovered that the uh, video file was corrupted for Dark Souls 2. I don't know what's up with that. It seems to happen mainly for Dark Souls though, so I need to like look up a fix for that. Maybe I need to turn down the frame rate and it's like trying to record too much at once or something. I don't know. My computer should be able to handle it. Um, but I'm looking into it and um, I apologize that that last episode won't be there, but I mean, there's nothing I can really do. If I uh, go through the game and like beat the DLC on another character, I'll film it. I don't know if I'm going to do that though. If I do anything in um in Dark Souls 2. It'll probably be PvP videos to be quite honest. Alright. Really wish I hadn't um spent influence here. Now that I uh realize what I've done to myself. But now we have to spend influence here. Alright. That makes it, like, especially worth it that we came here. Because the only thing I was going to buy from the shop was a, uh, was a spirit. So, the fact that we got a spirit is pretty sweet. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. We're gonna spend all of our money here. Spoilers. Alright. Alright. I'll call it worth it. Um, we got a spirit, which increases the amount of armored hearts we get on a drop, which is awesome. So, I'm actually quite okay with that, and we're gonna go on to the next floor. I know I'm missing a heart, but Chulain gets bonus damage based on how many hearts he's missing, and I feel like that could be useful on the automaton, so I kept it that way. Alright. Should've, uh, parried that like that. Oh, destroy the box. Thank you. The powerful waves that we have actually do deal quite a bit of damage to the automaton, so I'm happy to have it. Mana regen is kind of a sore spot for us right now. There we go. Oh, that, uh, that spitball is actually really well placed. I think they might do it for us. Yep, there we go. Pretty good. Blessing of Agni. Spells implode, explode on impact, I think is a perfectly fine upgrade to our spells. And we're gonna leave. Ugh, gotta adjust in my chair. Early fall. Boop. There's some more influence. Reviving our ability to go to shops a little bit. There we go. Whew. We have exploding shark missiles. <laughs> there we go.
God, there's so many of them. What is going on? Are they both stuck? Looks like they were. Let's go down to this uh, event room. I like it. Max health up is nice. Even though that means we're gonna actually max out on our health on this floor, I think that's okay. Ugh. Such a cock. Thank you. There we are. Nice. Our um, our spirit that we got from gambling on that room actually gave us an extra half uh, armored heart there, so. Thank you for dying. 27 influence, we're getting there. One key. Ah, 32 influence. Thank you, random four influence on the ground. You know, maybe I should play Midas next. Since I'm always so worried about influence. What I was worried about, playing that, uh that gambling room before, I was actually quite worried that we'd end up getting a a twig or something like that, and I would have been pissed that I even tried. Because, I mean, my philosophy still stands, like, I'd rather just not see it, you know? There we go. And up we go. Whoop. He's gonna die when he comes out. Boop. Okay, plus 5% melee damage. We got enough influence to go to the shop. Here's the boss fight. Let's go to the chest over here first, though. We have 12 keys. What the hell? Ugh. The darn weapon drops. side check out what's in here nice spirit of the headstrong heal after killing bosses why hello theseus is passive banner banner okay i totally thought i could buy that so that's an awesome upgrade if you're unfamiliar with what we just picked up um when theseus beats the beats a boss he heals by four now when you defeat him later in the game um theseus unlocks the ability to get the Spirit of the Headstrong, which makes you heal two hearts every time you defeat a boss. So now, not only do we get a health upgrade at the end of every boss, we actually heal by two as well. So, beating bosses is a uh, good source of recovery for us now, especially if we can get some other modifiers to healing, such as a uh, Blessing of Grand Bois or a uh, Blacksmith to turn our red hearts into, uh... Oh, that's actually... That wouldn't affect it. I don't know what spirits would actually affect uh, natural boss drops. But I would still enjoy the spirit of the blacksmith because uh, I tend to enjoy getting armored hearts more than red hearts on Shulane. If no other reason, then he uh, keeps his passive damage boost if you don't 
override his uh okay we'll take freeze impact um if you don't heal back to full you still have that damage boost but that'd be cool if the uh blacksmith worked with the passive healing on theseus and instead of healing you get like four armored hearts that'd be super cool That might be a little too good, though. I don't know. They probably thought about that. Alright. Please die. Thank you. Oh, we auto parried. I was like, wait, why haven't we taken damage? <laughs> uh, the Breath of Talak is... it's okay. I'd rather keep the Blessing of Lysa, though. Let's open that chest. 50 influence is gonna go per... It's gonna look pretty good in the uh, item shop. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Oh, wow. Seems like everyone died except for the person I launched there. Alright, so let's, uh, for the rest of the game, let's just kind of rush the, uh, special rooms. Now that we have uh, max health and uh, a couple good spirits to guide us through the game, I'm not that afraid anymore. Plus 5% stagger damage is nice. That's the one thing we'd be missing out on if we, uh, really. I, uh, I actually disagree. <laughs> I think that second shot should have hit him, and then the last shot I was just like, fed up, so I I shot it. Generally, those rooms pretty reliably... Rebel ah. Generally, those rooms reliably pay out, but I didn't play it very well tonight, so... There you go. How did you get to that... I guess you go down from up here? Okay. Yeah, I was hoping it was one so I'd get exactly a hundred. Yeah. Freeze him with our melee attacks, burn him with our uh, spells. Pretty good. Well, we don't burn them, technically. We just... Our spells explode. Oh, the game minimized. I apologize for that. There's ten more influence. Now there's even less of an excuse to not go in here. Spirit of the Martyr, every time we get hurt we uh, actually get influence. You know what? More keys. Because, I don't know. It's cute. It's a cute move. It's like, because we opened a lot of locked things on this floor. So I feel like the game heard me go... That... <laughs> the game heard me say that we had a ridiculous number of keys and, like, not enough influence. So it's been giving me influence and, like, not many keys at all. So, we're gonna keep up my key stock. Boop. Alright, plus 5% melee damage. Turn around. Thank you. Wow. Wow. I guess we kill those two. 
Plus 5% spell damage. Let's see what our damage is at right now. We're at 61 melee, 52 spell. That's actually not very good. I feel like we're being carried based on passives right now. Ugh, I don't think we can make that. Unless... You know, we could have made it, and I popped that too early. Um, I thought that would give us movement speed. It didn't for some reason, but... Okay. We're doing okay. We're not dealing, like, great damage. But, I mean, the longer the fight goes, the more we get hurt, the more damage we do, so... Oh. I'm trying to get better, I swear. have a crazy amount of influence. <laughs> All right. There we go. Blessing of Talak is interesting. Yeah. Um, the passive health drop thing is going to be nice just because that means we can kind of stock up health all over a floor and then not pick them up so we can get increased damage for the bosses and then go back and pick it up so we can make it to the following bosses. Because it's not the units on the way to the boss that we have a problem with, it's actually dealing damage to the boss. And uh, I foresee that being a huge issue in the future that uh, I kind of want to solve now. Hopefully we can find a good um, shop on this floor. We have more than enough influence to buy whatever it's got, so... hit him. That would have been so cool. <laughs> oh, oh, got them both. Thank you. Okay, 12 keys. It's the name of my new band. 15 Influence is the first uh, song on the album. Two Shuriken is uh, number two. It's a uh, number based album. Plus 10% max mana is <laughs> also one. That's an inside joke. At this point, it is. Whoop! 
We're doing okay damage to Midas. Nothing to sneeze at. lot of damage to him with those uh with the spit actually I didn't not I I really didn't expect that to be a star player in our damage in fact I was thinking about not getting it at all Aha. the blessing of Lysa that's good on our attack speed so, every once in a while, our attacks will give us boosted attack and movement speed, which is good. I mean, it's it's better than nothing, let's be honest. There's that half heart that I saved. And part of the reason I don't want to pick up health is because I do heal after boss fights anyway, so... Might as well get the damage out of uh, being low health, so... Plus 5% melee damage. Plus 5% stagger damage. Excellent. We have a, uh, a blessing room. Hermes. It's a whole bunch of nope. left. Ooh. Really, how have we not found a shop yet? It's pretty unbelievable, to be quite honest. Looks like there should be a secret in this room. I don't know where it is, but... Nope. Not up there. Nope. Okay, guess not. Ten influence. So I'm really astounded that we haven't run into our shop yet. Uh, the breath of Zephyrus is awful. I, I'd almost rather have nothing. It doesn't detriment us. Like it doesn't bring any detriments. Like it just sucks. Like <laughs> oh, I push things away. I guess it'd be good if I was in a uh, you smell gunpowder room, but.
You're not dead. Okay. Plus 5% melee damage. At our current health, we have 92 melee, 73 spell. And we're only missing two hearts, so we have the potential to deal quite a lot of damage when we're at low, low health. There's the shop, it looks like, finally. Unless that's a, uh, a blessing room, which would be funny. Oh, it looks like we've got a sniper up there. There we are. More health. There is a, there is a uh, event room up here. Spirit of the Harpy. Extra air dash. Heart. Sure. Keys. Sure. Spell. Not even going to look at it. All right, let's go to that event room. Ooh, irreverent, cartographer, healer. Okay, not the cartographer. I don't really need the map revealed. Irreverent. Let's go to weapons and then go back so we can find the this one first. Okay, deal an additional 25% damage against staggered enemies. That's okay. However, what's the last one? Spirit of the Healer might be the best one. Let's find out. I think it's in the gray section. Healer. Increased chance for heart drops. Yeah, I'll take it. Slight healing build going on here, as much as you can have with Chulane, at least. Enemies have a chance to drop quarter hearts. An increased chance to get hearts from chests and pots. And uh, we heal, I guess, three hearts every time we beat a boss, because it, it tries to give us a, he a heart container. And then we uh, heal two from Theseus' spirit, so... It's pretty good. Pretty decent run. Glad to have it. Boss, oh, we already we already fought the boss, silly. That was a lot of time spent on a floor that we already fought the boss. But we're in late winter now, which uh, my old rule still applies. When you make it to the winter, you've uh, had a successful run. <laughs> it's better than not making it to winter. Let's be honest. go. Key. Thank you for dying. Oh my god, two contact damage enemies. We did miss an event room. Let's go back and do that. Raijin. Nope. As good as the blessing would be, it's not worth going through his gauntlet, so... check down there might be a uh, an item room here Ooh. 10 influence is good it's not great
There we are. We took a lot of damage on that room. However, that makes our <laughs> melee damage 122. And look at our melee speed. It, uh, it has a lot of decimals in it due to our special effect. That's weird. Loud buzzing. Huh. Okay. So, the Blessing of Zephyrus was actually super useful there. Summon orbs on hit. So, it's another passive damage dealer that we're gonna summon. Um, that's worth it. And, uh, I'm sorry, Blessing of Zephyrus. Had I known you were super good against the loud buzzing room, I wouldn't have talked shit. <laughs> but, who would have known, really? I like to assassinate those kinds of rooms where I like sneak around killing them instead of a uh, <laughs> instead of actually trying to fight them. Feathers, gravity down. Okay, and we'll buy uh, the uh, the loo. Are you in the loo? No, I'm not using the bathroom. Thank you. Woo. Alright, you. Enough shenanigans. Luckily for me, these orbs count as targets to enemies, so they often try to pick them off before me. Super good. Breath of Shiva. That's a lot of damage. And, uh, I've said it before, I don't like the Spirit of the Automaton, because it puts that giant laser on your face, but I do like the Breath of Shiva, which does the exact same thing. The difference, though, is that I control one and not the other. If I could control when the automaton goes off, I would be down, but I'm not down for it. I'm not down for it uh, just randomly deciding that it's going to activate. It's like, you want to see nothing, right? Okay. Looks like we went the wrong way to defeat our boss, but we might as well finish this direction then. Oof. Alright, so there's a treasure chest hidden up here. Health upgrade, huh? <laughs> Can't even heal us because we're at full health. Now I can. Thank you. How much health would we have by now if there was no cap on max health? Alright. Oh my god, the question stands again. If there was no max health, how much health would I have? Wow. Gravity down makes those insane. Okay, we're gonna go back and pick up that health upgrade that we left, because it'll heal us. Let's go this way. And I say we finish this floor, because this is our last floor before the Astral, and uh, there's no exploration on the Astral, so... Which I'm sure some of you are, like, grateful for, because I just get down to business, 
and defeat the Huns, but um, I'd like to uh, make sure I've got all my stuff down. All right, Humbaba. of health missing now. There we go. Humbaba down. Blessing of Rajin. Funny seeing you here. So now... Hmm. Put it on our sword. And then we go clean up the rest of this floor since we have the health for it. And we're going to get healed by three as soon as we go to the Astral anyway, so... I sincerely hope that we get the, uh... The blessing that increases our damage based on influence. That would round off this run so well. Because of crap like that, that I've been doing this whole time. Okay, plus one key. Why are we so slow? I feel like our speed's bugged out a little bit. There's a, uh, an event room below us. That's exactly what I was hoping for. That's not what I was hoping for. That's unfortunate. I was hoping for a, uh, an enemy killing challenge room, because we could do pretty well against that. Um, I guess we're gonna do this last room just because. Influence, sure. Let's go end this level. Seriously, I felt like we were moving a lot faster than that. And left. And then whoop. I said whoop. And then we leave. Okay, we're gonna get healed by three immediately, which is good. Ugh. Sorry, my chair is probably farting. Fart, fart, fart. Spirit of the Swift, speed up. Breath of Shamash is temporary invul invulnerability. It's actually really good. But I'm gonna keep what I have right now. Alright. So I'm kind of worried about late game Burrower. If I were to be honest. 
Taste the burn. I'm really surprised we don't have a double jump. That's like our most frequently found blessing and or spirit. <laughs> Alchemists. Okay, 10 influence. We'll keep it up. We only lost one heart on that. I think we should be okay if we keep that rate going. enemy. Full health. Good stuff. certainly are taking a beating on this room. Alright, 10% max mana turns us 80 mana. We have 124 melee at this health. We have 94 spell damage at this health. Um, we're doing pretty well. Let's defeat them all. I've got your spirit, bro. That sister was actually a lot harder than I think she should have been. Place our slow um, smash because that that is not going to be useful on the final boss. Is why I did that. Hey, double jump! Oh, okay. <laughs> Both of those are useless. One of them gave us more influence for damaging enemies. One of them gave us uh, cheaper shops. <laughs> so. That is the first time I've ever been sad about what Osiris has been paid out with. There's been times where I've like not been the happiest about what he paid out with, but certainly I've never like looked a gift horse in the mouth with him. If you understand my uh, my slang. Spirit of the Flight was great though. Okay, and you, how are you not dead? 
Sorry, itchy, uh, itchy beard. It's a curse. Thank you for healing me, at least. So we keep moving on. Boom. There we go. Late game borrower. Hopefully soon. Thank you for dealing mucho damage to the uh, people above us. Yes. Turn around, huh? Oh, thank you for the health. Game Burrower, let's do it. One of them's got a shield. Not too happy about the shield situation. How did we not deal damage to him that time? Thank you. Oh, we're taking so much dumb damage here. Oh, we did it! All bets are off, guys. It's a lot of influence. Blessing of Lou. Distance equals damage, so... Yeah, I'll get rid of Kamoho for that. Health, health. Spirit of the Alchemist, yes! Oh my god, Grand Bois. So, what Grand Bois does is uh, it heals me by four whenever I want, so. Also, uh, what the Spirit of the Alchemist does is you see that lightning aura we have around ourselves now? I like how it's slow mode for me. Um, that gives us a passive damage field around us, and it's actually a very big damage buff. There we go. So if we can save that for the end boss, I think we have a pretty good shot of winning. Oh, don't, don't throw. Okay. Oh. 
Rajin just messed them up so bad. We've got 999 influence right now. It's kind of silly that we don't have the, uh, the greed-based damage buff. Alright, I didn't actually parry that myself. The game actually auto-parried it with my weapon. I wish I could take uh, take credit for that sweet parry, but that was not me. Elf? Yes. Ooh, automaton should be easy. As he kills me. I forgot late automaton is always like a combination of both automatons. Okay. Really surprised I didn't get the parry there. That was a very close laser dodge. Oh, I made a mistake. He's going to barrier now. Damn. I, I intended to use Alchemist's um, barrier, like lightning aura, to finish him off, but there we go. That works. Raijin. Hold on. Let's get rid of the explode on impact. Now we summon lightning with both our spells and our melee attacks. Ride the lightning, guys. Never flinch. Good. Oh, damage was abound. Thank you for dying. Nice. Okay, armored health is awesome. We still do have the blacksmith, so keep that in mind. Not the blacksmith. We have uh, the one that increases our armored hearts every time we get them. I, I think it's the spirit of Humbaba, actually. that max health upgrade still. If max health wasn't a thing, I definitely think Chu Lane would probably be the best character in the game. Just because, imagine being able to get damage per health down, per like health missing, with like 30 health or something. I parried that somehow. All right, just the hermit left and then we get to fight. 
F uh, I guess four more rooms? Got a bit of damage coming our way. We're definitely stronger than last run, so... Hearts, thank you. Damn. Really wish hitting him with the corpse of one of his flies would do it. If, uh, if blessings stack or not, so I'm not going to do that. Alright. Three health plus bonus influence. Woo! We get more influence on drops. That's, uh, it's comical. Taking damage because I'm getting anxious. Alright. Gotta stay cool as a cucumber. Why is that a turn of phrase, by the way? Like, are cucumbers always cold? I guess I've never eaten a warm cucumber. That might be because I don't like cucumbers, but. Pickle Master Race. Um, but, I mean, I'm sure out there in the world there is a warm cucumber sandwich or something. I don't know. These are the things that I think about. Thank you for the spell damage. We have 186 melee damage, 149 spell damage. That's only because we're so low health, to be honest. Um, it's not on the merits of our build, it's based on Chew Lane, purely. that's the best I've ever handled one of those guys. Except for the runs that we, you know, one-shot them. That seems to handle them pretty well. Whoa. 
Oh, what did we get there? We got a key. Hmm. All right. Final boss, let's go. You've made it. This is the road's true end, and I am its sentinel. This is my path to glory. Here I am, immortal. No beast can stand before me. You walk in my footsteps, yet you must be tested. It is my duty to banish the unworthy. Let us see your worth, Ant. I hope you're as adept a fighter as you are a talker. <laughs> Ascended Theseus. Bring out your sword. Oh, come on. How is it not gone? Most health of all time. Come on, how are you not dead? <laughs> how is this happening to me? There we go. Oh my god, our damage is so bad. Oh. No way. Alright. Let's actually dodge now. And use our, uh... Our abilities to great effect. You know, instead of just dying repeatedly. Alright. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Um, so at this point, I'm thinking there's basically no way we can win this. Um, I was pretty cocky. I guess I'm more used to getting carried by my abilities than I than I think I am. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but. Oh, oh man, that was so close. Oh, I've got a slime ball in there dealing damage to him. Oh. Nope. Oh, we killed that. was an intense path there. Please kill the sword. We did it. How are we not hitting it? Oh. Oh. Man, I wish that counted as a... <laughs> I really wish that had counted as a defeating a boss and giving us more health. So we came close. And, uh... Man, that was, uh... That was difficult. Uh, the last boss is a lot harder than I previously assumed, just because we normally kick his ass, but, um, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know by liking. It makes me feel nice. If you want to see more sent into the future, feel free to subscribe. I do upload every day. So, 
Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.